Hello, I'm Matthew Wagner, and I'd like to introduce you to one of the videos that forms part of the video series that was taken from a series of podcasts that I produced a while ago, audio podcasts, which I've taken and I've converted them to a series of videos and enhanced them. So I do hope that you enjoy the video. Hi, and welcome to another podcast brought to you by PanicAttackRecovery.com, home of the newsletter all about anxiety, panic attack, and agoraphobia recovery. I'm Matthew Wagner. I'm, I really appreciate you joining me. And today I'd like to discuss a topic that I think can be very good for relaxation from anxiety. And what I'm actually talking about is detachment, the idea of detaching from things. Because you see, one of the most freeing things that I discovered some time ago was how to detach from a negative situation and basically how absolutely freeing this could be. Just allow me to provide an example. Imagine you are at a movie theater and you're watching a really scary movie. You come to an extremely tense scene in the movie. You feel your heart racing, your anxiety levels increasing, your hands are sweaty. Suddenly, you have the realization that this is just a movie and your anxiety level decreases. I remember when I was younger, quite a bit younger, and I would be watching scary movies. I would always learn to do this process when I would become too scared. Now unfortunately most of us do not utilize this tendency in our day-to-day -day lives, but we can. Often everyday stressful situations at work or in our own personal lives can compound on each other and our stress levels increase. The take-home suggestion that I want to give to you is that I'd like to encourage you to learn to detach from a negative situation even if it's just for a minute or two. You will learn to experience the immediate relief that can be felt when you do so. Specifically if you feel yourself getting worked up and you are ready to respond with, ang with anxiety, with anger or any other emotional response, take the time out now. You will learn that you can do this more and more in your life. You see many people often will lose control in situations and this isn't just about losing control with anxiety because it works with any really emotional response such as anger because what happens is the circumstances essentially take over the situation you get so I say you in a collective sense of people who who uh, respond this way but people will get so worked up by the circumstances in the situation that all reasonableness is gone and it's just purely an emotional response directly to some stimulus in the environment something that someone cuts someone off in traffic whatever and then the continuous circumstances from there may get worse and worse and they escalate you often feel this when you when you are around someone who's becoming very angry I use anger as a way to, to provide an example here but it's not about anger management although it can certainly work in learning uh, to, for someone who has a problem with anger but it's it's very useful for someone with anxiety to realize there's a point where you become anxious and then you essentially feed your anxiety more and more but also you just more or less get caught up right in the circumstances and that's the key here getting caught up in the circumstances you, you want to avoid doing that and that's why I'm suggesting you learn to detach from a negative situation now unfortunately um, I can't give you a specific set of instructions on how to how to do this it's something that we all have in us an inherent ability to detach from a situation but we have become so habituated to responding with anxiety you know as panic attack sufferers or anxiety sufferers or agoraphobia sufferers that's our natural response but we can learn to take a time out when we feel our anxiety getting higher and higher and even if you just start by practicing this suggestion for a minute or two minutes and over time you gradually increase the time frame the process will work so really um, I would say that you just take a situation any situation for practice in your life where you feel things are escalating whether it could be you know you're getting more angry or you're getting more anxious and you start to just take a quick time out and over time you increase this timeout so let's say that you are doing something and you take a minute timeout one day and um, I'm talking about when I say doing something I'm 
talking about when you're in one of these situations where you're getting angry or anxious, you take a timeout. The next day you increase the timeout, maybe by um, maybe by doubling it if you started with a minute and then doubling it again the next day and the next day and so on. And the idea is you can learn to take a timeout and detach for a longer period of time. And what you're doing is you're training yourself to take back control and you're training yourself to be able to do this longer. And as you do it longer, you'll realize, hey, I can I can take a timeout whenever I want to. And it goes back to what I talked about earlier when how I discovered how freeing it could be to just simply detach from the situation. Not to analyze the situation about who was right or wrong or anything like that, but to go beyond that and just simply say, I'm going to detach from the situation. And I think this is something that can be added uh, to your anxiety toolkit, if you will. And I would definitely encourage you to remember the analogy that I used when, from my childhood watching scary movies, that the analogy was that when you're trying to initiate the process, you think about a scary movie and you think, it's just a movie. Well, same thing. You realize this is just an ang this is just anxiety. This is just anger. I can detach from it. And over time, I think this is something that can be very, very useful for you. For more information on panic attack recovery, recovery from agoraphobia and anxiety, please visit my website at panicattackrecovery.com and sign up for my free and continuous newsletter. Thank you. Material in this newsletter is provided for educational and informational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for a psychologist, psychiatrist, or other health care provider's consultation. Please consult a psychologist, psychiatrist, or appropriate health care provider about the applicability of any opinions or recommendations with respect to your own panic attacks, anxiety, and agoraphobia, or any other symptom or condition.